Hi everybody, my name is Rebecca Burnett and this is my presentation on pros and cons of cloud technology. More than 10 years ago, a group of engineers learned that they could collectively share information and software through multiple computers. Today's clouds are formed when a company sets up a data center that is composed of numerous servers that are all linked together. The available space for information is either sold for storage or used to run websites and share information through downloads. There was a time when there was anything that was desired to be added to a computer. It had to be purchased in a store and physically placed inside the port of a computer to be downloaded. Cloud computing basically is an effective means of managing an abundance of servers, networking, and data storage. Any software or online services that are provided or consumed through the internet is through the use of the cloud. Apple's iCloud, Facebook, Netflix, Amazon Cloud Drive, Google Drive, LinkedIn, Snapchat, and GPS applications such as Waze are all examples of cloud-based applications. Through instant access of information, innovations are available such as engineers that can build cars that can self-drive, people can use applications to instantly translate languages, and houses now have thermostats that can monitor and learn household patterns to become efficient and self-adjusting. Small businesses are now able to create a startup company and quickly build it into a billion dollar company with very few employees. Pinterest, for example, is run on Amazon's web services cloud service and currently uses 60 million photos added daily but consists of only 300 employees. Now, if a computer were to get a virus, all of the information stored on it would not be potentially lost due to a major repair. Also, devices come with the ability to remotely wipe any information stored on it if it happened to be stolen, thus adding to security benefits to all users of the cloud. With the luxury of this easy access, there are multiple issues such as third-party handling, cyber attacks, insider threats, and government intrusion. Although third-party providers advertise that they keep information safe, it is unlikely that it is being monitored with the same passion that a person would desire. Cloud providers are, after all, a company that is marketing to make sales and meet budgets. Cyber attacks have received the most media attention in recent years. With information technology, it is constantly progressing and becoming more elaborate. But unfortunately, so are the hackers that wish to destroy it and steal from it. Crime has now evolved from physical to remote, and the worst part is that unless you're monitoring, they can take as much as you have to lose. History has shown the most severe security breaches are due to inside jobs. The scariest part is the administrative access allows an employee to access, copy, and export all your sensitive information completely undetected. With the formation of cloud technology, many governments want to push their monitoring further into inspecting the data transmitted by its citizens. The whole idea of confidentiality is quickly diminishing. Cloud technology has provided the world with an economic stimulus and changed the way both users and businesses use computers today. But with this luxury, easy access, there are multiple issues such as third-party handling, cyber attacks, insider threats, and government intrusion. After evaluating the overall benefits versus the risk, it is clear that the value of cloud technology is greater than the fear of security.